Hey guys, so I thought I would do a little chit chat video with you guys because I have been getting some questions um, pertaining to, you know, my job and my career and stuff. So I wanted to kind of answer those in this video and give a little bit of advice. Um, as you guys know, I now work with Happy Satchi Studio, which is a model run um, studio in Monroe here in Georgia. And um, I work alongside of some amazing friends, amazing people. Um, we are, we have, you know, the staff models, we have staff photographers, staff makeup artists, um, and we also have like costume designers and all this kind of stuff. So I started working there on the 1st of January. Well, we have been working on it for quite some time now, um, and our first official. I guess, like, shoot was the 16th of January, and we had our grand opening on the 30th. Um, there's a lot of, like, behind-the-scenes stuff on not only my vlog channel, which I'll link below, but, um, our YouTube channel, which I will, for Happy Statue, which I'll also link below, um, so you guys can check out all the fun things that we have. Um, I've got a few questions about, um, why... I left the studio that I was working with previously. Um, as some of you may or may not know, I was working with a studio previously. I will not name names because I don't want to deal with legal things. Um, but I was working with them previously. And a lot of things about them really struck me wrong. I was not happy working there. And... Um, I found out after I left so many things that were wrong with that studio that were pretty, f pretty fucked up. Um, uh, shoot, the list can go on and on, but, um, the, it's hard to say things without like putting their names into the story so excuse me if I'm like out of it um, but the studio that I worked with previously um, they never wanted to pay anybody for their work um, they wanted to keep the money to themselves um, and not pay their models their photographers stuff like that which you know they having people basically come in for free and doing all this other stuff which is fine you know um time for print tfp work is highly acceptable and i'm personally all for it but it got to the point where it there was a lot of sexual harassment not as a model but as a makeup artist um i got a lot of sexual harassment a lot of sexual comments were made towards me and I'm just there to be a makeup artist. Yes, I did try to, um, you know, do some modeling, but I was never comfortable doing it at that particular studio because it was just so degrading to me. And they always wanted someone to get naked. And a lot of models that I know personally do not do nude shoots without pay. And they pretty much wanted people to come in, get naked, let them take photos, and then not even produce images. Which is stupid. And it's not going to help anybody except the main person. So, I have a little bit of advice for you guys. If you are in the industry or trying to get into the modeling industry, please do your research before you um, work anywhere. Um... I have started modeling some and the best advice that I can give you guys is if you're going to a shoot and you're going to be with a photographer or you know someone that you don't know bring a escort with you bring someone that you trust and you know will have your back if things get crazy um, I've experienced to mess up things um, personally from working at said studio because I like I 
did. I went there by myself like an idiot. Um, even though I was only doing makeup, I still got asked to do inappropriate things. And I'm like, no, <laughs> no. Luckily, I was able to stand up for myself, but I had a friend that came with me that wasn't as blunt as I am. And, you know, it just, it was just, it was uncalled for. No one should make you do anything that you're not comfortable with. And if someone tells you to do something because you won't make it in the industry if you don't do this and you won't do that, you know what? Fuck them. Um, especially a studio that says they're going to give you so much if you do this and this and this and this. They're going to help you with so much and then not do a damn thing for you except take your money and sexually harass you every single time you go there. So I... I honestly, at one point, I was like, okay, I'm just going to have to deal with being sexually harassed, touched inappropriately, talked to like I'm a piece of shit on a daily basis to be in the makeup industry in Atlanta. And I was fine with that at one point. But after I found out some more things, I just couldn't. Um, one of my friends was doing a shoot and the wall fell down on her. Luckily it was a small wall but it was not secure. She scraped her knee really bad and it was bleeding and I was like, hey do you guys have a first aid kit? No, but we got some vodka in the refrigerator. Really? Yeah, cause that's totally gonna help. Like if I were, we were in a dire situation and there was like in the middle of the desert and then all we had was vodka, yeah, okay. But I'm not gonna put vodka on my friend who's got a gaping wound and all this shit. And they're like, oh, she's fine. But my friend is bleeding. Like, how do you not? Like, it just that's what really struck me. And then um, me and my friend were packing it to leave, and you know the main person was like, hey, you, why are you guys leaving? And we're like, oh, you know, we're getting ready to go, da da da. And he's like, well, how about this? You guys um, can get naked, do some stuff, and we'll take photos, all this kind of shit. And I'm like, hold up, bro. Are you fucking shitting me right now? Hell no. He's like, oh, no one will see the photos, no one will see. Don't tell my wife, though. And I'm just like, oh, wow. Um... I'm like, let's go. Um, thankfully, you know, uh, my parents came to get us, thank God, at that time. And I was like, no. And honestly, to this day, I still get messages from this person being like, hey, you want to come do makeup at our studio? No, I don't. I do not like being harassed on a daily basis. No. So, you know, if you're going to, if you're starting on in the industry, join a group on Facebook. If you're on Facebook, join a group. Um, if you are in the Atlanta area, my friend Amanda has a great group that'll tell you all the creepy photographers and all the creepy people to not work with on Facebook. Um, I'll have the link below. It's the Model Safe Network. Um, but if you are not in Atlanta or in the Georgia area and you want to know who's creepy, who to work with, who not to work with, do your research. Um, I just jumped in kind of, okay, let me do it. Yeah, I get to do makeup. And I didn't think about it. You know, I thought, oh, this is a great way to expand my portfolio. You know, this would be a great opportunity. But at the same time, I was being harassed. So, yeah, it wasn't really, it was not worth it. And I never got back any photos that I did when I did modeling. I never got back any photos that I did when I did makeup. Like, I got a few from other photographers, thank God. But from the main people, I didn't get anything. So, you know, please do your research when you are looking at photography studios, um, photographers. Um, I have heard so many horror stories about photographers touching models inappropriately, trying to rape models, raping models, um, abusing them verbally, abusing them, you know, stalking them we've had like there was an incident with one of my friends she was being stalked you know you have to be careful because they can say oh I'm a photographer but they may be some creep so my advice is always bring someone that you trust 
um, to the shoot with you, especially if you are starting out and you don't know, you know, the photographer. If you work with the photographer, you know, I'd still say bring someone with you just in case because you will feel more confident, more comfortable with someone there kind of rooting you on and cheering for you. And, you know, if something happens, they're there to help you. You know, you don't have to deal with it on your own. Um, I have a shoot that I'm doing coming up, and I got one of my friends to come with me because I've never worked with this photographer before. So I'm going to have somebody with me. You know, it's, it's always a better idea to bring someone with you that you trust that will get in someone's face and will be like, uh-uh, you is not going to do this to my friend. Fuck you. Go somewhere. Sit on it you know, sit somewhere and spin. Like, you need someone like that with you. And if you, you know, if you're not like, if you're not like that, if you're not that kind of person to just be like, fuck you, you know, you need someone there with you. Like, even if you are a type of person that would be like, fuck you, do this, do that, you know, jump off a bridge, I don't care, kind of thing. Um, you know, you, I would still say bring someone with you because two are better than one when beating ass. That is all I gotta say. But I'm I'm so happy with the studio that I'm working with now. I feel safe. I feel happy. I love working there. Like it's not even work. Like it's fun. Like I get I work there pretty much on the weekends and every now and then during the week. And it's so much fun and I'm so happy being there and I get to be myself. Like, I don't have to do simple, natural makeup. I can do whatever I want. Like, crazy makeup, avant-garde stuff, body paint, all this stuff. And it's just so much fun and I have so much creative freedom. I love this studio from the bottom of my heart. We've all worked so hard for this studio and we are working on so much more. And every now and then, that other studio will pop up, and they've actually stolen quite a bit of our ideas that we've had for shoots, and try to do it like the day before ours, the day after ours, and then be like, oh, well, we've been doing this for like, planning this for like a month, but you've never done, A, you've never done these types of shoot before, your idea of creativity is water and bubbles, um, we've been planning our, we plan our shoots at least five to six months in advance. Like, we have stuff all the way planned up to June, July now. Um, and possibly, I think we're working on the August, September, October kind of things. And you started advertising two days before the actual event that you guys had, which we had been advertising for months. So, you know, it's kind of it's really sad to see another studio take the ideas that we decided to do and it was funny because one of the um people that worked with that studio had gotten all up on us and was like oh you know we didn't steal your idea blah 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 and um then the next shoot that we did they did the same thing and it was just really kind of ironic it's just like please explain how it does two twice in a row and it's just, it's just funny, but it means we're doing something right. If someone wants to copy us, it definitely means we're doing something right. So, um, I love this studio that I'm working with now. I feel so safe. I've actually been able to enjoy modeling and not feel like a sexual object of some sort. And I just love it so much. And I really hope you guys will enjoy the videos that will be coming from there. Um, I'm, I am in charge of the YouTube channel for Happy Statue and loading the videos that we take from behind the scenes. If you guys watch the videos, you can see that we have a lot of fun. Um, models are always smiling. They always want to come back and, you know, work with us. And it's amazing. And we actually have a shoot today that I'm really excited about. Um, and we've got so much interest. It, we are kind of in the middle of nowhere, but, you know, if we are providing a service for models to feel safe and happy and comfortable and confident in that environment, then we are doing our job. And I just want people to know that no matter where you are in the world, no matter what industry, you know, you are part of if you're not happy with what you're doing and you're not confident in what you're doing 
then don't do it. Like, if someone tells you to do something, don't do it. Um, especially in the modeling industry, people will p try to push your buttons and try to push you to do things you do not want to do. And you don't have to do that. You are better than having to deal with that kind of bullshit. So, if you are trying to get into modeling, please do your research on photographers, um, studios, uh, makeup artists. Do your research on everything. Don't just jump into it be like, oh, you, you take photos? Okay, cool. And then find out that they're, you know, they produce porn in the end. Um, do your research ask fellow model friends if you don't have any model friends you can join i'm pretty sure that they probably have like model safe groups on facebook pretty much everywhere and if you don't have one make one put up a list you know get in touch with other models who are in the industry and share stories let them know that this person is not a good person to work with or this person is amazing you need to work with them they're awesome you know all this stuff so please be careful it's not modeling and being in the industry is not just standing there and look pretty it's a lot of work it's tiring it can be exhausting it can be mentally draining and that's how it was at the past studio that I was at. Every time I went there, I was not in a good mood. I'd go there in a good mood, but when I left, I was in a bad mood. I was pissed. I was angry. I'd be sad, depressed, you know, body conscious. Um, just, I hated myself. Like, I was like, why can't I be this? And why can't I be that? And why can't I do this? Why can't I do that? Why, why not? Why, 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 why? And... Now that I'm a happy statue, I feel so much more confident in not only myself, but doing what I do as a makeup artist. I feel more confident as a photographer. I feel more confident even as a model. Like, there are so many beautiful girls at the studio that just kind of, they're all different body shapes, all different sizes, all different personalities, and it just shows you that you do not have to be this certain size, like a size zero, to be beautiful. You can be any size and be beautiful and be confident. And that's the biggest lesson that I've taken away from this studio is you can be any size, um, any kind of, like, you can be alternative, you can be non-alternative, you can be this, you can be that, and still be beautiful. So I want to just kind of share my story and, um... You know just be careful um and if you are in the georgia area and want to come to our studio you guys should um we create a safe environment for models photographers makeup artists everything so um, i have all our links to this that happy statue studio below and also my youtube channel my my youtube my vlog channel and the happy statue youtube so check it out Thank you guys so much for watching and if you have any questions about, you know, experience, more experiences that I've had, leave them below and I can do another video about it. Um, I just really want to help others who are in the same situation that I am in or was in and just help them out because it can be hard when you're starting to model or starting in the modeling industry and, um you know like I have a lot of people that are like hey I would really like to model but I'm not pretty and I'm like yes you are like don't be like that just because you know a lot of people have body issues and that's fine everybody has body issues I don't think there's one person out there that's a hundred percent confident with the way that they look or the way that their body is or anything like that so if you guys have any other questions you would like me to answer about you know, the industry or Happy Statue Studio because I love it so much. Um, let me know in the comments below. Let me know if you guys have had any kind of incidences like mine. Um, and if you have, what did you do about them? You know, just let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I know I blab on and on and on, but um, I just kind of wanted to get this out there and you guys like. I said you like chit chat videos and stuff like that so 
I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!